So in the last video I showed you how to make a pulsing GIF. Now this is the uh, Tajo skin again. And I have a feeling I'm totally saying it wrong and I'm sorry. Um, so I thought it'd be cool. I added a new background. It's just a standard background. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to edit just a specific spot on a layer in Photoshop in order to um, change the opacity so that you can actually see the pulse in behind it. So I've got it open here in Photoshop. Now it's really quite simple. All you need to do is go here, the quick selection tool. You can use any tool basically where it's going to highlight stuff, but this one works really good because it's pretty easy to use. As you can see, it highlights the whole thing. Now, if you've done, gone a little further than you want to, you can just um, hit Alt. And of course, it's giving me problems today. If it's not big enough, just stretch it out. But Alt actually moves it in. Okay, so once you have your areas highlighted that you want to see the pulse in, all you have to do is go to Edit. Go to fill. Make sure it's content aware. I think it automatically defaults to that. Change the mode to clear and change the opacity. The higher the opacity, obviously the more, like normally when you have opacity on a layer and it's 100% and you put it down to 90, it just changes it a little bit. It's like the opposite on this. So 10% is very little opacity. 90% is a lot. So 60 is actually really nice that I found for this layer. You can obviously you can play with it if, if you find you don't like the way it came out you can always go back and change it but so make sure clear and then pick your opacity and then click OK. Now it just takes a couple seconds but you'll see that each of these things that have been highlighted will be become a lot more um, open. There we go. Now it looks kind of ridiculous but believe it or not it works okay when it's actually in Cody. So now that you've done that I just control D to turn them off, control S to save it. Now when you go back to Kodi, if you have key maps installed, just hit function F5. And there we go. Now this has a line up here because there's an extra bar up here where the RSS feed normally runs. But that's all you have to do in order to see a GIF in behind your layer. And that's how easy it is to pick specific sections inside one layer and change the opacity on them. So hopefully that helps.